it is almost time to replant all of my hardy banana plants. So here's the crazy mess that I have. This is one banana plant and it's probably 12 foot tall. And I'm not sure if it's still alive, but we'll have to see. The stem is pretty harsh still. So that tells me that this whole thing is alive. So how crazy is this? I was able to keep the whole stem alive. I will show you the ones outside. They die all the way to the ground every single year. But by preserving the stem, I think I should be able to have huge, huge, I mean huge, banana plants. <laughs> okay. So check this out. The stem is still good. And I know for a fact that after I plant this in the ground, it is going to be good. I am so excited, my friends. So I had to get the tape measure out. And these two banana plants are eight foot tall. And I have one over there that is probably 12 foot tall. So I'm very hopeful that this year I'm gonna get some fruits out of these guys. I hope so. And right now, let's get them into the ground. Now I just have to find a suitable space for it. I really want it to be growing here at the front of the house because I want it to look tropical. So I'm gonna pick that little corner right there and put it right there probably. So I'm gonna be putting one of them right here and they produce a lot of side pubs. So hopefully I'll get a few more growing here this year. So I just used a pickaxe to make a hole that's about a foot deep. And now I'm gonna bring it in here. Check this out. This is huge. This one right here is about 11 foot tall and the other ones are about 8 foot tall. They're over there. Check it out. It's right here and the trunk is alive and firm in the ground. I think I'm gonna have to secure this one with something because it might flop over in the wind. And the other three are planted right here. Check that out. They're gonna be huge in the summer. <laughs> One thing to note is that I don't see any more frost in the extended forecast. So that means that I'm probably safe by putting them out right now. These are frost tender, so if they got below 32 degrees, the thing rots, the stem rots. So that's what I'm trying to prevent. That's why I'm putting them out right now. And I'm hopeful that they are not gonna get any more frost. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose my whole project here. I dug these out sometime in November of last year and they've been in my garage. Now I'm putting them out and hopefully, I'll see a little bit of fruit from these. I got the idea of digging them out from a gardener out in Georgia, I believe. And he actually has fruiting bananas. He digs out his fruiting bananas in the fall and then puts them out right after the last frost. And some, sometimes those plants produce fruits for him. So I know these are not fruiting bananas, but I do have fruiting bananas inside my greenhouse. And basically I am testing this out with the non-expensive Musabazu, and then if it works out, then I'll put out the fruiting bananas out in the same way that I'm doing these right now. And if you want to see the video of me digging out these bananas in the fall, I'll link it down below. <laughs> 